Okay, so we're first we're gonna suppose, uh, of course, the A is invertible, so that's given to us, and um, and B is n by p, and we're gonna show this as a unique solution. So we're gonna suppose that this equation. Okay, so suppose ax equal b has two solutions. Has two solutions. Let's call them. Okay, so it has two solutions. So say x and y, right? Say the solutions are x and y. Solutions x and y, then then they both should satisfy that, right? So therefore, ax will equal to b, and also ay will equal to b. Okay. So then since a is invertible, so that's given to us, if a is invertible, then by definition, we can just go ahead and multiply both sides by a inverse here. So a inverse times ax equals b, and this means a inverse, so by associated property of multiplication, you know, this, this is identity. So therefore we'll have x equal to, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to multiply the other side. Let's fix this here. Uh, we, because we multiply both sides by a inverse, so a inverse has to be on the right side as well. So a inverse b here. So therefore, x equal to a inverse b. So that's the solution of the first, first equation. Now, for this equation, we can do the same thing. Multiply both sides by a inverse. So we have a inverse times a y equal a inverse times b. And by associated property again, this equals b. This is identity, and y equals a inverse b. So as you see, in both cases, x and y are equal to the same matrix. So therefore, we conclude that x equals y, and 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 they're both equal to a inverse b. So this proves that the solution must be unique. Because we in the beginning we started with the two solution, but at the end we show that both solutions are equal to each other, and this proves that the solution is unique. 